Thanks, Renee. Only on 10 News, a couple recorded the unnerving moments for them on a flooded street in Lemon Grove. Yeah, a man and his girlfriend didn't know what to do once they started floating. 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens joins us live. And Jared, first of all, is everybody okay? Yeah, thankfully, Jason, Virginia, everyone's fine. The driver, John Hill, as well as his girlfriend and fiance, were all inside this car when they hit a wall of water. You can see it's still soaked, and if you look underneath the car, down at the chassis, you see branches and leaves and all sorts of junk hanging from underneath. Hill tells me he swerved to avoid a branch in the road, and that's when the car got overtaken by the flood water. Yeah, we're not deep enough water. Waves, we're there surfing in the car. And we are surfing right now. And my battery, it hit my battery. It hit your battery? It hit my battery. I am, I am now just floating. Are you kidding me? I am just floating here. Just floating down at Federal Boulevard. You can hear the shock in everyone's voice as they begin it to float away. Hill tells us the water at one point got as high as his windows and his engine died. Other cars in the area faced the same problems. The fire department came to rescue stranded drivers and to tow away the cars that wouldn't start again. Hill says he looked under the hood of this car and everything was wet. He did get it started enough to drive it back to here. He says it died a few times on the drive and also that his engine didn't sound like a purring kitten anymore. He said it sounded more like a grunting hog as he drove it home. Live in El Cerrito, Jared Ahrens, 10 News.